Canadian identity has always been difficult to pin down. Unable to conclusively define what we are, we often describe ourselves in terms of what we are not. Not American, not British. But throughout the years, Canadian art and literature has helped us understand our elusive national identity and develop our unique voice. Irene Gamel is head of the MLC, the Modern Literature and Culture Research Centre at Ryerson University in Toronto. Her team specializes in Canadian literature and culture during the modernist period, from the 1880s to 1940. It is a period during which we really saw a kind of revolution of uh, artistic and literary expressions. In our research, we focus very much on putting some Canadian uh, women artists and writers on the map who may not yet have received their due. Gamel's team recently researched Lucy Maud Montgomery, the author of Anne of Green Gables, and Canadian battlefield painter Mary Ryder Hamilton, who painted the trenches of Flanders Fields after the First World War. It's fantastic to have these research projects and these inspirational, empowering women who are Canadians, who, who embody so many ideas and morals that we, we need to reach out and show students um, to provide this fantastic role model for them. Um, Mary Ryder Hamilton in particular, uh, it's it's important that she gets a stage, she gets a voice, and without our research, she could just be forgotten and just pushed by the wayside. The MLC Research Center uses CFI-funded digital scanners to preserve Hamilton's works and document her life. The relationship between literature, history, and media technologies, and the exposure to visual archiving, is what attracts students with different academic backgrounds including English literature, art history, communications, and fashion. I think good research and internationally powerful and competitive research is all about having an interesting edge. It's about innovation, it's about originality. In my view that originality happens when you bring different components together, when you bring different fields, different methodologies together. And by bringing those methodologies together we uh, create new knowledge, we create new approaches uh, to various research questions. The Center's conference room and exhibition space further facilitates collaborations by allowing Gamel's team to connect with researchers across Canada. Another significant feature is its climate-controlled archive, where donated collections and various pieces of literature from the modernist era are preserved and displayed. We received a, an original uh, copy of an Ellie McClung book of short stories called Flowers for the Living. We also received a, a letter from Ellen Montgomery to a fan and fellow writer, Cynthia Down. It's so important that we ensure to the donors that we can provide a safe space for that and also a venue where people can come and see these resources and it's open to scholars and the general public. The Centre puts on several exhibitions open to the public. For her centennial, the MLC organized a cross-Canada exposition featuring L. M. Montgomery's Anne of Green Gables, which attracted over 500,000 visitors. With this new exhibition space downstairs, the world is our oyster. We can, we can bring Canadian heritage out to the Canadian people in a really meaningful way.